okay hey there everybody and welcome to part a so almost done with this tutorial series and today we're going to be working on the enemy shooting back at the player and some other kind of stuff so yeah first off i want to fix a bug that was in the former video which is i'm going to just play the game here where i'm going to shoot the enemy and when he dies we can still interact with it so um i don't actually want dead bodies flying around in my game because that would just be weird so i want to fix that and by to fix that all i need to do is go over to the dead enemy and over here layer select the second layer uncheck the first one and uncheck the mask so this is not going to be masking anything but it's going to be on the second layer and we'll go over to the game and to the time map and we're going to mask the first and the second layer so the time map is, is the one doing almost all the work here. So it's just going to mask the two of them. And this guy's only just to sit there in the second layer and wait for somebody to mask him, if you understand what I mean. So now the um, player and the enemies and the rest are not going to interact with it. So yeah, with that done, I'm going to exit this. And I just want to show you my enemy bullet that I made, which is a new scene. Area to these sprites and collision shape. This is my bullet sprite. Um, if you want the same asset, you can go over uh, to GitHub. Link will be in the description below. Um, we'll go over to animation, H frames one, and frame one. Okay. So we're gonna set that. Um, we're gonna set our collision shape nicely. I've already done that off video, so that I won't actually take long to do this. And we're gonna click this plus button here to add a script. And now we're not adding just any script. We're going to add our former bullet.gd script. So the reason we're adding this is I don't want to make a whole new script that will just be, shall I say, um, needless. So I'm just going to use the one from our normal um, bullet. So I'm going to load the script. And over here, I just want to put some if statements before I delete the um, bullet. Right now, if we just enter any body, we're just going to delete it. So I want to check it for some things. So I'm going to say if not bracket open okay make sure you get this first brackets so we say body dot is underscore parent of so if it's not a parent of ourself or sorry body dot get underscore parent is equal to um get underscore parent okay sorry i need to get some parentheses there so yes if our body is not a parent of self that means like if it's not us that shot that bullet and for the enemies if it's not another enemy that shot the bullet that's what this body that get parents um equals to get parents is um basically if we go over to our levels go over to game.tscn we're going to see that all the all the enemies have a current um a common parent so that's actually what it's going to be checking for it's going to be checking if it's an enemy or if it's itself so if any of these are true, and if any of these are not true, because we added the not keyword here, then we want to um, delete ourselves from the scene. Also, I want to connect another signal, which is going to be the area entered. Where is it? Area entered. And on this signal, it's just going to basically do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy this, or I can just say underscore on body entered. And here I'm just going to pass in area instead of um body so this is just going to do exactly what we, we did but um i just passed in the function instead of copying it um newly again since we're done with that i want to start making my enemy shoot so we go back to objects enemy.tscn where is it down here so yeah i'm going to make a node a sprite node normal sprite node and this is going to be our gun as a child of it position 2d node and this is going to be our muzzle um, muzzle being the place that the bullets are going to fly out from yeah so for the gun we're going to drag in our normal assets our normal player s gun assets so for the offsets i'm just going to give this like a two to align it nicely i'm just basically just running through what's actually going on here um if you want to actually know how to do all this you can go over to the first or the second video where i actually let him taught how to make the player so yeah, we have this gun and we have this muzzle. So I want to create a attach a script to this gun. And this is not going to be our other gun. This is going to be the enemy gun. So we're just going to state it the enemy gun create. And over here, we're going to be doing basically almost the same thing that the other gun is doing. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code from our first gun and go over to enemy um, control V. Okay, yeah. So first of this bullets preloading, I want to change it to enemy bullet. So we're going to first um, preload the enemy bullet. Then we're going to leave that ready function the way it is. We're going to leave this one. We're actually going to get rid of this mouse position because the enemy is not going to be looking at the mouse position, obviously. It's going to be looking at the player. So here we're going to make an already variable. Player will be equal to get underscore tree dot current scene dot get underscore node player. So we're going to get the player node from the current scene, which will be the game scene at that time. So over here, um, look at pose. We are just not going to touch that yet. And before that, I just want to say flip underscore V will be equal to a true. If player the global position global the X is less than our normal global position, the X else true. Don't panic. I'm going to explain whatever everything I just did here. So flip v is going to be true if um the player is at the left hand side this is basically what he's just <laughs> saying and so if the player is at the left hand side um then our gun wants to look at it um it's going to actually have to it's going to have to turn um yeah in that direction and if it's at the left hand side do you see that the gun looks kind of upside down there so what we want to do is we want to on flip H, oh, sorry, flip V. So if we turn on flip V, if it's at the left hand side, then it's going to actually look normal. So yeah, that's basically what that code is doing. You might not want to implement it if you just want your um, gun to just be like that. So um, before the look at, we're going to say, um, want, before the look at function, we want to actually check if our player is around before we um we even start shooting or we start pointing to him and stuff. So the reason we're actually doing this is we don't want um for you to be like at any point in the game and the enemy always sees you and always shooting at you. So what I want to do is when the player is close by, the um, enemy is basically like alerted and is going to shoot. So we say if global position dot distance to make sure you get distance to not direction to then if the distance to the player the global position is less than 600 then we want to start shooting so we can highlight all this code and tab yeah so that's basically going to um always shoot when the player is around and now we want to look at the player dot global position you guessed it right so um over here we don't want to be checking for inputs um since we're the enemy so the enemy is going to like shoot um it's just going to shoot um like an ai and stuff so we're going to get rid of that code we are not going to be controlling the shooting of the enemy and over here muzzle the trc okay muzzle that should be good the screen shaker we're going to control x this out because we don't want the screen to be shaking when the enemy is shooting um i think this should be all if you want some um more delay on the enemy shooting we can just increase to this to like 0 0.5 or yeah 0 0.8 or so and i think that should be nice we're gonna hit that five check if the game runs well hopefully we won't run into any errors and wow <laughs> all of them are shooting at me at once and <laughs> this looks weird because uh, <laughs> So, and actually, the reason for that bug is actually weird because, um, I don't know. But for a bug fixer, I just know how to fix it. We, um, the problem is actually the speed of the bullet. So, we have to actually reduce that down. So, I think a 500 would be good. We did not connect it to the enemy bullet. It was just connected. Um, this one is, is for the normal bullet. So, we have to connect it for the enemy bullet there. So, yes um i don't want to do it this way i want to connect it directly so with uh, disconnect and here i'm just going to say on bullet enter to body enter okay so it's going to connect it to this one and hopefully this is the moment of truth cross fingers hit play and yeah it works so as you can see 
uh enemies are actually shooting at us and in a way they are like randomizing the way they shoot so they are not actually shooting in a straight path if you understand what i mean so yeah this is really cool this is really nice i actually like this but to some extent the bullets are too much and that's because our en our enemies are plenty but we want to actually have enemies that don't um shoot right so we can actually do that we go back to the enemy to the enemy script and here we want to make another variable var has gone underscore gone and by default it's going to be equal to a true and we're going to make it export so export so we're going to save this and over here um we'll go to the ready function funk underscore ready then we want to say if has underscore gone or no we want to say if not has gone then we want to gone dot q u e u e underscore free so we're just going to free the gun if there's no gun <laughs> if you know what i mean and hopefully we won't actually run it into any error because of that and yeah we go back to our game um we select the enemies that are going to have guns and not so i don't want this guy to have a gun i don't want this guy to have a gun sorry i don't want this guy to have a gun two with guns two without guns so we're going to run this and actually see the outcome now we have only two people shooting at us and yeah this is really great so i actually like the way we went with this and the video is actually long from what i've seen so yeah thanks for watching in the next video i'm going to work on transitioning to other things fail screen and pause menu thanks for watching see you guys next time smash subscribe if you like this series and goodbye